Hi everyone, today it's uh, Wednesday, May 20th, 2015. Uh, well, just looking at here, one of a section of my bitter melon. Uh, I have a 10 feet by 6 feet section of trellis here uh, from this right side of the pole, right there. Okay, to the middle here, that's 5 feet. And then all the way here, that's 5 feet. And then I added uh, two more, I added one more section, uh, three and a half feet right here, from one side, uh, from, the, from the right side here to the left side here, all the way on top, that's uh, over seven feet tall. So I knew it wasn't, it wasn't enough for all the bitter melons, and that's why I added another section. Now I want to make this video uh, for Esther, Esther Long. Um, she's one of the viewer, and she asked me about um, how to show her how to erect uh, a trellis and uh, now before I do that I want to make a real quick disclaimer uh, all my videos are not how-to video uh, basically my, all my videos are just kind of fun garden videos with my kids uh, it's it's a way for me to document a lot of stuff that I do in my backyard so I just want to make it really clear that <laughs> Uh, my videos are not how-to. So, however, since Esther asked me the questions uh, about the trellis, uh, and I was glad to answer her questions, and uh, I'll show you her exactly uh, how I put up a trellis. Okay, even though my video, like I say again, is not a how-to. Okay, so let's go to this trellis real quick. Uh, I just bought this, so you can see it's very nice and not rusted. This one kind of rusted a little bit, but that's okay. Now, this is a perfect... Uh, square, six inch. I mean, you can put your hand through, you can pick cucumber, bitter melons, almost anything. Anything to this mesh. You don't want anything smaller. It's be difficult to put your hand through and sometimes difficult to grab the fruit. Also very important is the, the gauge. The gauge is just just beautiful. I mean, uh, quite sturdy uh, and small enough for the tendril to grab on hold to it. You see that? So bitter melon has tendril and the they will spin the tendril and they will grab onto this and they'll pull themselves up and they will clamp everywhere as you can see here. Okay? So they have this springy thing here, those springy thing are actually like arms, they just grab onto it and pull themselves up. Uh, now I also have other kind of uh, trellis that I built in the past. This one here is about 24 inches wide, uh, way on top, over six, six and a half feet tall on top. This kind of trellis, I use a uh, fence board. I cut them up into one inch fence board. You can see here. And this kind of trellis is really good for tomatoes because tomatoes don't have tendrils. Uh, all they need is for you to guide them up and then tie them somewhere along the trellis. And it's quite sturdy. Um, so, so, so they'll be perfect for, for um, a tomato. So this kind of trellis, the wooden one here, is not appropriate for bitter melon. I just don't think it's, it's going to work for bitter melon. Because bitter melon, they need more, more room to grab onto and a small little kind of gauge like this. Okay, so and the wooden one, uh, if you have to buy them in the store, in the, in, in the garden store, it's real expensive. Something like this would cost you 20 something bucks or more. Uh, this mesh here, uh, three and a half feet, okay. 42 inches by uh, 80, what, 86, right? Uh, seven feet. So that's, uh, that's only, that's only cost me about eight bucks. Okay. Now the, the anchor pole, which is the one that you use to, to tie the, the, uh, the wire mesh to, uh, in the past, when I first started, I used a square. But now I don't use the square no more. Uh, the square tend to be very brittle when you're trying to shake them because they're square, so they tend to wiggle left and right and they tend to break. Uh, I use the the round one now, uh, the one that it, it, people actually use for uh, for sticking up a tree. So I use the eight foot pole, and I'll show you the pole, the round pole. That's what I prefer. Okay, since I have this already, so I just use them since I have it. But I will show you exactly what I use uh, to build a really good trellis. And again, the trellis here uh, are not permanent. They're semi-permanent. If you, can, if you want to leave them there for a long time, they'll stay there for a long time. But I like to remove them because after the season is over, uh, I might move the trellis and, and, and plant something else. So that's why 
uh, it doesn't take me that long to, to erect this trellis. Maybe it takes me five to ten minutes the most with help. Without help, I can, it takes me probably 15 minutes. Okay, so I'll, I'll show you exactly how I, I do it. So let me pause this video. Okay, but I want to show, before I do that, I want to show you again another trellis that I built. Uh, this one is six feet by six feet, and I put them up to about maybe six and a half feet uh, tall. Uh, again, I use the fence board. I cut them up to one, about one inch, uh, and the square here is about eight to ten inch uh, wide. Now, this type of trellis is very good for uh, kind of bush, uh, tomatoes, as you can see here, raspberry. It's quite good. Uh, but they're not good for bitter melon or any other uh, any other vine that have that have uh, tendrils because it's very difficult for the for the tendril to hold on to this. It's kind of big. Okay, so let me show you the other one. Okay, so I'm at the uh, side of my house now, and this is one of the trellis that I just erected uh, not too long ago, and this one is it's uh, for my all my cucumber on the bottom here. And again, cucumber do have tendril. They need something to grab on to, something small enough. So like I said, I use this uh, wire mesh again. Uh, you can get all this, the stick, like this pole, and the wire mesh, and even the uh, the pipe strap, or the uh, gar uh, hardware store and garden center. They do sell them. Okay, so before you, uh, you need to measure out how how wide the mesh. So obviously the mesh, this one right here, this trellis here is exactly seven feet, seven feet long here, and three and a half feet tall. So the stick here, I wanna show you this, the stick real quick. So here, this is the stick that I bought. Okay, this stick here is eight feet long. Okay, and you can cut them up into any size you want to, but they, they typically come in eight feet. Uh, people use this to, uh, uh, to stick up the, the trees and stuff like that. So it's real nice, real good size. And like I say, they're strong, they're sturdy, they're very big, they're sturdy, uh, and it comes like this. Okay, so when you put up the, the trellis, what you do is you would like to drill this, this pole into the ground, roughly about um, 18 inches or more. Okay, and then you tie, you tie the, uh, the mesh with a pipe strap. So you can find this one in any kind of, uh, in, in any uh, plumbing section of the uh, hardware store. So here, I'm gonna show you one example here. Okay, so this is something like this. So all this is just, you put them on and you just wrap around them and you tie them. That's all it is to it. Okay, and the, uh, the nut here, it's five, uh, is 516, okay. Okay, so once you, once you, Stick them down. Uh, you would want to tie at least one in the bottom. Uh, sometimes I only tie two and one on top. Uh, sometimes you want to really be careful. You can tie one more in the middle if you want to. But like I said, I just use two. And in the middle here, I put some more stick just to reinforce it a little bit. Uh, this is quite sturdy. It won't fall. I've been uh, using this for a long, long time. And none of my plants ever, none of my trellis ever uh, fell over. Uh, and again, cucumber is not very heavy. They do produce a lot of fruit, but this trellis here will, will have no problem of handle all my cucumber. So I have almost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plant here, and they will do just fine. Uh, so, so this is the trellis I will use. It's very economical. Again, if you have to buy something like this, this is the one I built three feet by six feet. If you have to uh, build something like this, or if you have to buy this, it will cost you at least 30 bucks or more. So this is very expensive. Uh, I don't think you could, you should use, I don't think you have to use any fancy trellis. Uh, besides, trellis, you know, if, if, if you want to build a permanent structure for a certain plant, then, then do so. But I don't think you need a, a fancy trellis just to grow some annuals, especially cucumber, bitter melon, because they only last for one, season so after one season you know you might want to remove the trellis and grow something else so it's not something you want to it's not something that you have to be permanent uh, this took me maybe five to seven minutes to put up it's real simple again nail them uh, drill them down 18 inches and then just tie them 
to the side. That's it. That's it to it. Nothing fancy, nothing complicated, very simple. Okay. And here we go again. This is one of the my great uh, vines here. And this trellis here, it's uh, 24 inch. Again, uh, grapes do have tendril, uh, but since grapevines, since it doesn't have, uh, since this is kind of difficult for the grapevine to hold onto, I tied it to the poles. And once it get up there, you can see up there, you see that? This wire mesh, the grapevine, the vine will actually hold onto those. Okay, so this is something I built. Uh, not very expensive, but something I built. It takes some time to build. So, hi, oh hi, so my son is joining us. Okay, so this video is uh, Esther. I hope you get some information from this video. Uh, apologize, I cannot show you exactly uh, live how I how I did it, but I think you get the idea. Uh, quite simple. Let, let us go over it real quick. So you can get all this the wire mesh uh, like this. Okay, trying to get this this size six inches square. Uh, they roughly seven feet by three and a half feet. Uh, okay, and also buy some of the pipe strap uh, from the plumber section in the uh, hardware store and then buy this pole, this kind of pole some some come in 8 feet, some come in 10 feet, I don't know and drill them down to about 18 inches deep or even deeper and then all you have to do is tie them to the tie the trellis to it, that's it simple as that now you want it to look nice, you can paint them, okay but you know, kind of very painstaking to paint them uh, using uh, can spray. Uh, but they'll look nice if you paint them green. But I just don't care for it. I'm not into the look. I'm just really want to, uh, uh, you know, want to make sure it's practical, it's easy for me to do it, and uh, fast and easy, and economical. Okay, so I hope you get the the information. If you have any questions, go ahead and post uh, a comment for me and send me a message if you need to okay so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you for watching bye mom you want to say bye bye you just got your brace huh look at that species, you just got... but you can't all right species. that's not part of gardening okay all right bye, bye.